We're the Revelist team and today we're trying a style trend that's a little bit old school. The Canadian tuxedo. I don't like denim. I find it uncomfortable. It's hard to find in my size. I love it on other people, but it's just not my thing. I think we're gonna be good if we come through this with three outfits that we really love and we don't end up feeling like Britney and Justin at the 2001 VMAs. That was a look. Maybe we will and it'll be <laughs> fine. With that being said, guys, let's do the damn denim. Double denim. I'm super, super excited to be trying this trend. It's definitely something that I incorporate in my own wardrobe all the time. For this look, I shopped around for some pieces, which was super easy to find because denim is always on trend, and it's definitely available in a large variety of sizes. But I feel like double denim is such a bold thing to wear, so I'm gonna keep it very minimal in terms of accessories. I want your opinions on this, viewers, because everyone here is looking at me like I am crazy. Texas tuxedo or a Canadian tuxedo? Anyway, I found a really, really, really fun denim shirt and I'm pairing it with some gray distressed jeans that I already own. I think it's gonna be a hell of a look and I can't wait to show you. Here's the thing. I've always loved the way the double denim looks on other people, but I've always just thought, for me, no go. As you can tell by today's getup, I much prefer leather and something that is entirely black. To get out of my comfort zone, I'm gonna do a Canadian tuxedo that is entirely white. And oh my God, I'm so nervous because I spill everything. Two words. Nailed it! This denim skirt is my own. Then I decided to pair it with a crop top because that is one of my personal favorite pieces in my wardrobe. This is actually a male shirt that I decided to throw over, almost like a suit jacket, to really give it that tuxedo finish. All in all, I really love my look. I would rate it five out of five. One of the things that I hate the most as a goth queen is when my blacks don't match. However, in this instance, I think that the very dark black denim shirt and the lighter faded black denim pants kind of work together really nicely. The one thing that I'm not super wild about with these jeans is that they're made of the very non-stretchy material. They're not quite as comfortable as I'm used to, but when they look this good, I kind of don't care. I'm giving this look Four out of five. I mean, honestly, I look like I either belong at the rodeo or in a Backstreet Boys video, and if that's not on brand for me, I don't know what is. It's a denim jacket in an extra large, a size 14 jean, and a size 14 button-up. The button-up is not denim, so I know it's kind of cheating, but I realized in the middle of this challenge that finding a white denim button up in a size 14 is near impossible. So all in all, I'm gonna give this look a four out of five. All right, the outfits are finished. How does everyone feel? I'm feeling unexpectedly more confident. How about you guys? Me too. I've learned that white denim is very see-through, but that I should wear it anyway. So when it comes to double denim... No, no, a Canadian tuxedo. You're both wrong. It's a Texas tuxedo. Never. Either way, style has no size.